Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and hi if you are new. Today I am sharing with you what we had for dinner on this night and then we are doing a massive cleanup after dinner. These are some of my favorite videos to make because cleaning in the evening is so relaxing and I love waking up with a clean kitchen in the morning. And I am excited because today's video is a collaboration with my friend Sheila over at Simply Sheila here on YouTube. You guys are gonna love her channel. She makes so much cleaning motivation, deep clean, speed cleans. She is a busy mom of two and you guys are gonna love her channel if you are looking for some cleaning motivation. So definitely go and check out her video and her channel. I will have it linked in the description box. And if you are here from Sheila's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing before you go. Let's go ahead and get right to cooking. Tonight's dinner was tacos and I absolutely love tacos. We usually do them with chicken so often that I was pretty excited to do ground beef for this one. So I am browning the ground beef in the pan and then we always do rice and beans and things like that on the side. So I am using my instant rice, getting that boiling in the pot and then I'm gonna show you kind of how I combine the rest of the ingredients for the tacos in this other big pan here. I think that this is such a delicious way to combine all of your ingredients. You could also bake this in the oven if you wanted to use it as a dip instead of on tacos and it would be so delicious. You gotta understand that we get one chance. I season my meat with onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, and all kinds of other spices. I'm not a big fan of using salt when cooking, but I always try to use as many different flavors as possible. Cumin was a definite one too. my really large pan I added some corn and black beans I had drained both of these and rinsed them so that way there was no liquid on them but you just want to keep them moving around in the pan and then add your rice and the rice will stick if you don't move it around I had to constantly keep the spatula going but this really helps to kind of pan fry it and make it really crispy and then I added the same spices to the rice mixture that I added to the meat just so all the flavors were melded together The next thing that I added was a can of Rotel and I drained all the liquid off of it but you could always keep the liquid on or use salsa instead if you want the texture to be a little bit wet or creamy. And then I just added the ground beef directly to the pan to let all of those flavors mix together. And you can also transfer this from the pan into a baking dish, top it with cheese and then use it as a dip instead of putting it in tortillas and that would be super delicious. But now we are going to move on to my favorite part of the dinner, which was margaritas. I always love a margarita when we have Mexican food. And I believe we found this margarita mix at Walmart. And this is more like a wine cooler. It doesn't have any tequila in it. So if you are not a liquor fan, then you can go and find some of these already pre-made. You just add it to your blender with ice if you want it frozen. I've also had this on the rocks if you don't want it frozen and it's really good as well. on to plating our food and I love putting guacamole on my tacos. Jack's not a big fan. He prefers like sour cream and hot sauce. And then we also did some shredded lettuce and cheese and these were so delicious. Like I said, you could also do this on nachos. You could use it as a dip with some chips. And we always like to pair our Mexican food with chips and salsa and white sauce. If you are from Virginia, then you know what that is. Margaritas, it really just makes a great at-home date night, almost like we went to a Mexican restaurant. And now we are gonna move on to cleaning up the kitchen after dinner. And I will say, most of the time when I am filming a cleaning video, I always tell Jack to stay out of the kitchen so that I can film. But there are a few times when he is behind the scenes here helping me out by drying off dishes and things like that. It honestly makes this go so much faster when you have a second set of hands helping you out. a few spices to put away and then we're gonna put away all of the leftovers I love having leftovers from dinner because it's so easy to eat and reheat for lunches and things like that let me know in the comments if you guys are a fan of leftovers or if you are not I know that there are some people that just don't love having leftovers they would prefer to finish all the food that they make on one go around and I totally get that I feel like some things don't reheat very well this is one of those things that I feel like gets better as it sits the flavors kind of meld together more
also so curious whether some of you put all of your dishes and things in the dishwasher or whether you wash a ton of things by hand. I feel like I wash all of my pots and pans and things like that by hand and Jack is always really good about helping me by drying and things like that. I usually only put like plates and silverware and things like that in the dishwasher but I know sometimes people put all of their dishes in the dishwasher so they don't have to wash anything by hand. So let me know which kind of person are you? Does it all go in the dishwasher or do you wash things by hand? Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want Now is a great time to tell you that I am using these scrub daddies here. They kindly sent these to me a few weeks ago and I have been trying them out to see how I like them. And honestly, I have never tried a scrub daddy before because I always see them in the store and I just think like, oh, they can't be that special. They're just a sponge. But honestly, guys, I feel like these work so well, especially on pots and pans. There are so many things that are hard to get off, like rice just sticks. And these scrub daddies do such an amazing job of cleaning your dishes without scratching them. And what I love about them is that they change texture depending on whether they're in hot or cold water. So I think that really kind of helps. And and then I also use, as I'm sure you saw, sometimes I use that barkeeper's cleaner on my pots and pans to make them extra shiny. And then I use this stovetop cleaner on my stovetop to make it shine. And I feel like these scrub daddies do so well on those surfaces too. Say you think about it too. When the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with. That I should be. We've been on and off again and again. After I scrub down my stovetop, I usually go in with a cleaner. I'm using the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner, and then I just kind of get any residue that was on the stove, and then I always make sure to clean off the knobs and any place where grease may have splattered. No control, you push me, then you pull me back in. I also think that these scrub daddies would do a really nice job on my sink as well. I use the barkeeper's friend on this stainless steel sink as well as my pots and pans, and I just think it does a really great job to make it nice and shiny. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you, and here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. kitchen sink and the area surrounding it. I always try to wipe down the faucet as well since it's new and I want to keep it looking shiny and new for as long as possible. Uh, there's always water spray from washing dishes. It's just inevitable. Even with such a deep sink, I feel like there is water constantly everywhere. It's the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake, it's the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Just putting a few things back where they belong and then I'm gonna wipe down all of the countertops and sometimes I use my granite cleaner but tonight I'm just keeping it simple by using my Jaws kitchen cleaner. This does a great job of tackling all of the cooked on grease. Another one of my favorite things to do in the evening or any time that I have cleaned my house really is diffusing some essential oils. So I'm doing a few drops of a lemon essential oil here and a few drops of a respiratory blend that has tea tree in it. I think that this just smells so fresh and clean and it smells like you just cleaned your kitchen, but in a really good way, not in like a chemical cleaning product kind of way. It just smells so light and fresh. You guys saw my last cleaning video you probably saw that I had updated my tablescape a little bit here in the kitchen 
and I love having my table set all the time for a couple of reasons. One, I feel like it really helps to keep the kitchen put together, it looks more clean and fresh, but I also think that it helps me from dumping stuff on the table and just dumping my keys or wallet or purse or something like that. It keeps the area so much cleaner and I decided to update my centerpiece for the 4th of July and I may keep this up from the 4th of July through Labor Day just because it is so fun. It has a little bit of summer mixed in with a little bit of Americana decor. I got a few of these pieces at Hobby Lobby and a few of these pieces I already had like the mason jar and the lantern and the candle and the lemons. I feel like this makes such a nice mixture of summer and patriotic decor. I think it looks really nice. The welcome friend sign was from Hobby Lobby and then the little house that the American flag was from Hobby Lobby. I believe that that kitchen towel was a set of two from the taller Target dollar spot and I'm pretty sure that those were three dollars for a set of two and then I already had the lemons and the little white lantern and then I just stuck some American flags in that mason jar on the top and I think that it looks really put together I think that this is such a welcoming thing to have on your table any kind of tablescape just really makes the room but it's okay I don't have the pieces of your The last thing that I'm gonna do in today's video is mop my floors and I did this after my shower because I love going to bed letting the floors dry a little bit and then then I have a clean kitchen in the morning which is my favorite thing and I use this O Cedar spin mop it is the best mop ever guys <laughs> I usually use my Mrs. Myers multi surface concentrate with some hot water and then this mop does a great job of cleaning the floors not getting them super saturated I also have to give a shout out to these socks that I am wearing. Fuzzy Baba sent them to me probably like a week ago and I have been wearing them around the house all the time, especially in the evenings. I will insert a clip of a few of the other socks that they sent me, but my favorite part about these socks is that they have little grippies on the bottom which is especially helpful when I am mopping the floor because this floor gets super slippery when I'm mopping and I don't want to fall. And I just love that when the floors are chilly in the morning, I can put these on. And then when I am running around the house cleaning or doing things, I can slip these on my feet. The slippers that they sent me are also super soft. So I will leave their link in the description box below so you guys can go check them out. I'm just a really big fan of cozy slippers, cozy socks. I know that a lot of you are with me. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you lots of cooking and cleaning motivation. Don't forget to check out Sheila's channel as well. I will have all of that linked in my description box. And I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys. Oh,